Hey guys, so I want to select items by ID. Um, you would go about that by going into your manage tab and then you can come over here to the select by ID button and then you can put in the IDs that you have um, and then it should select whatever the elements that you have, um, the element IDs that you do have. Um, as you saw here, so I have two of them and they're separated by a comma. Um, you can just keep adding to this list essentially. So there's a, um, a variety of different ways to get element IDs. You could be using Dynamo and pulling out different elements, or, or maybe you're looking at your warnings list. Um, you could be looking at um, through Imaginate Clarity's uh, uh, database, um, so, or, or even in Navisworks, um, you can go in there and select a, a certain element. And well, what's nice in those different applications are th those different ways of pulling out the the information. If it doesn't have like a switchback function, um, you know, for example, if Navisworks isn't working in that way because it does have that function, you can easily just grab those IDs and then paste them in here. Um, just make sure that they're comma separated, and then you should be able to um, go ahead and select those items. So that's one reason. Those are kind of a variety of reasons why you would kind of go go this route. Um, if I press OK, we can see what happens again. Um, but yeah, you you'd want to go and um, um, uh, you know copy the IDs from there, put them in here, and then you can grab those elements. You can also you know for whatever the reason is, if you want to select your elements and then come back into um, manage, you can also get the ID of those selections so those two items that we've grabbed and we've been looking at this whole time we can grab them and then we get those those um, IDs associated with those elements we then can copy this and maybe use it in different uh, platforms you know if we were using Imaginate Clarity and we were getting out the entire database uh, of Revit <clears throat> we may want to use these IDs to kind of filter down to specific elements um, Again, with Navisworks, um, you know, we're in there and we're looking at different stuff. It doesn't have that, you know, a, a connection with Revit. It's an NWC. We may, you know, we may just want to kind of um, search by specific elements and use the um, element ID as, you know, as the search criteria. And we can um, then, you know, grab the items in there. So there's a variety of reasons why you would do that. Um, it's not a huge thing. You're not necessarily going to be working in that way. It's pretty tedious because each element within Revit has an element ID. But there's definitely cases where you need those those element IDs for whatever it is. So um, hopefully this helps you on how to use those two functions. So select by ID, um, which we'll run again. So we'll just you know paste in the element ID. Let's reduce it down since I've already done it that way we just want to select one element we can press OK we get that element um, again if we select this one element we can then go back to the manage tab and then ID of selection so because I didn't say anything this is grayed out if, you know if you don't have any elements selected so keep that in mind um, yeah so hopefully this helps you um, gives you some ideas on why you would kind of use that um, show you kind of the one example with the warnings uh, if we look into these warnings they have an ID associated with them as well so if somebody like exported out this list and shared it with you um, you could go in there and start like highlighting specific elements um, based off of their ID and you may want to do that because essentially this is what this tool does we can show um, the elements gonna look for it in that view um, I'm gonna press cancel so it doesn't open up a view but um, essentially doing the same thing so it wouldn't be bad to have a list of IDs and you can search you know with them that way if you're looking at a, a Revit database it might be easier kind of searching at a element um, by element basis whatever the case is um, so hopefully this helps you um, and I appreciate you guys watching thanks a lot